Let's discuss how to find the maximum likelihood uh, uh, estimator, and we're going to use the negative binomial distribution as an example. Um, so to begin with, uh, let's talk about the steps we need to do to find the maximum likelihood estimator. So our first step is to find the likelihood function just for a single observation. Then from that, we're going to find the log likelihood function, again, just for a single ob observation. Then we're going to extend that to the log likelihood function for many observations. Then we're going to take the de derivative of that function, which we're going to call the score function. Uh, we're going to set that score function equal to zero and solve for our parameter theta. And that's going to be our maximum likelihood estimator. So let's see an example of how we do this. So th this here is the PMF for the negative binomial distribution. And so we know that that's the same thing as the likelihood function, except for the likelihood function, we're picturing the, the parameter theta as varying and the data as fixed. So we write that as the li likelihood of theta given um, our data, xi. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to write the log like Khalid function. So we notate that as lowercase l of theta given xi. And so to do that, we take the log of each of these terms here. So right away, we notice that this term here um, does not involve our parameter theta. Um, so we can get rid of it because it, it doesn't matter if you scale the likelihood up or down by a constant when finding the maximum. So now taking the logs of the other two terms, we obtain r times log of theta plus xi times the log of 1 minus theta. So now to extend this to the log likelihood function um, with many data points, which we write as lowercase l of theta given x1 through xn, um, all we have to do is to take the sum of n of these here. So we're pretty much, we're finding the sum of the log likelihood of each individual data point. So if we sum this up, this term here doesn't depend on i. So we're going to write this as n r log of theta because we're just summing up n of those. And then for this term here, we see that we have xi here in front. And if we sum those all up, we get the sum of xi log of 1 minus theta. Um, then, so now that we have this, we want to take the derivative of this with respect to theta, and that's going to be our score function. So to do that, remember that the log of theta is 1 over theta. So d d theta, um, the log likelihood of theta given x1 through xn is n r over theta. And the log of 1 minus theta, um, remember, um, we have to use the chain rule, so it's 1 over 1 minus theta times minus 1, because the derivative of 1 minus theta is minus 1. So that's going to be minus sum of the xi over 1 minus theta. Okay. So we're going to take this, and we're going to want to set it equal um, to 0 and solve for theta. 
So we'll do it on the next page here. So we'll rewrite this. So we have n r over theta minus the sum of x i over one minus theta is equal to zero. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring um, this term over to the other side. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to say that's equal to um, the sum of the xi over 1 minus theta. Um, then if we divide both sides by n, so this goes away. And the sum of the xi over n, well, that's just the mean of the data. So this becomes x bar here. Um, okay, and so now thinking how we want to solve for theta, um, let's cross multiply here. So this is going to become theta x bar equals, and then I'm going to carry the r through. So that's r minus r th um, th theta. I'm going to bring the um, theta terms all to one side. So that's theta x bar minus, uh, sorry, plus r theta equals r. Uh, we factor r theta. And then finally, we've solved for theta. So we have that our MLE is r over r plus the mean of our data x bar. Um, so this here is our maximum likelihood estimator.